Hey YouTube, it's Will. And it's Matt. And you're watching Will and Mac React. All right, well, welcome back to another uh, reaction video. Happy Halloween, guys. Woo! If you can't, you can obviously guess what her costume is. Obviously, if you can't guess mine, I am Tom Segura. That is my, she thinks it's lame, but hey. I love Tom Segura, you guys love Tom Segura, and tell me if you think it's an awesome costume or not. All right, the jury will determine the verdict. Yes, they will. <laughs> All right, well, uh, the video that we're gonna be getting into tonight is obviously Tom Segura. Yeah. And uh, this one is actually uh, him talking about when he met Bruce Bruce. So, I don't know about you, I'm a huge Bruce Bruce fan. I think he was awesome, I remember him on Comic View. Who didn't love Bruce Bruce? Bruce Bruce was great. I mean, I wasn't a big fan though. No? No. Well, I was, so you know I'm excited about this one. <laughs> All right, let's bring it on. All right, let's get it on. Let's get it on. It's how I imagine what? serial killers feel when they meet each other for the first time. They're like, you know, you do it differently than the way I do it, but I totally respect your commitment to the craft. Because to me that kind of fits Halloween. Yeah. <laughs> Let go of the suitcase. Is that Ari? Chug it at them. It's just a bunch of funny people who are all telling true stories. Please give it up for a very good friend of mine, Mr. Tom Segura, everybody. All right. Um, I don't know if you guys know this or not, but comedians' lives are lonely. It's a lonely existence. I mean, you're in airports and hotels and cities with strangers every week. It gets lonely. Like, it really does. Like, you can only, you can only masturbate, like, so many times before you're like... I gotta get something to eat, you know? Like, it's one of those things. You gotta find something to boost you up. You know what's the biggest boost? The biggest spark when you're on the road is actually running into another comedian. It's the best. I can't even describe it to you. It's the one thing that you're like, yes. If it's a comedian you already know, it's like a reunion. And if it's a comedian you've never met, there's so much excitement at the potential. You're like, oh, is he gonna be weird? Is he gonna be hilarious? Is it gonna be hilarious how weird he is? <laughs> but there's so much there. You know, it's how I imagine serial killers feel when they meet each other the first time. They're like, you know, you do it differently than the way I do it, but I totally respect your commitment to the craft. Like, you keep their toes in jars. That's nuts, that's awesome. <laughs> so, I'm at the airport and I'm waiting to board a flight and who do I see at the gate boarding the same flight? The comedian, Bruce Bruce. Now, if you don't know who Bruce Bruce is, he's a super successful comic. He's had TV shows. He sells out clubs and theaters everywhere. He's awesome. Now, I've never met him. I see him at the gate. I'm like, I'm going to go talk to Bruce Bruce. And then I go, no, you're not. Bruce Bruce doesn't want to talk to you. <laughs> so I don't say anything. Then we board the flight. And I get upgraded. Woo, woo! Upgraded. And now, who is sitting directly across the aisle from me? Bruce Bruce. <laughs> now I can't help myself. Now I have to say something. So I introduce myself to Bruce Bruce. Now, for this to really make sense to you, if you don't know who he is, I have to paint a picture, okay? Bruce Bruce is black, he has dreads, and he's a big boy. All right, like when you say your name twice, there's a lot of you. <laughs> Bruce Bruce is like four bills, okay? So, I might name myself Tom Tom if I gain another 100 pounds. So, <laughs> I'm sitting across the aisle from Bruce Bruce and I introduce myself and he could not be nicer. Just to give you an idea of his status, we're at the gate on this plane and, they, and the flight attendant announces that we're stuck at the gate. And she says, you can get off if you want to. 
just take your boarding pass with you, and then you can get back on. So as I'm talking to him and they say that, I go, I'm not getting off. And he goes, I'm not getting off. And then a woman, a passenger from the back of the plane walks up and she leans down to him. And she goes, I'm getting off. Is there anything you want or need? And he goes, I would love some candy. <laughs> and she goes, candy? And he goes, Twix, Skittles, shit like that. <laughs> She gets off the plane, and I go, who is that? And he goes, I don't know. <laughs> and I'm like, are strangers just buying you candy? And he goes, yeah. <laughs> like, that's Bruce Bruce status, okay? So we keep talking. We gotta start talking about gigs that we've done. And we start talking about comedians and who's funny, who are the funniest comics ever. And we start literally listing comedians through time like we start with like Lenny Bruce Dick Gregory and we talk about George Carlin and Richard Pryor all the way through Eddie Murphy and then to today you know Kevin Hart and Dave Attell and then Bruce Bruce says that's all good but do you know who the funniest cat of all time is now I think it's a setup I think he's gonna be like it's me bitch I'm the play. Like, it's like that. like, that's what I think it's gonna be and I'm gonna let him have it so I go now nah, like Who's the funniest cat of all time? And he goes, Andy Griffith. And I go, what? <laughs> and he goes, Andy Griffith. And I go, are you talking about like, <whistles> that dude? <laughs> and he goes, yeah, you ever been to the Andy Griffith Museum before? And I go, what kind of question is that? No, of course not. <laughs> is that real? And he goes, real? They have the car that he used to sit in. And you can sit in it too. And you can touch shit that he used to touch. <laughs> and he goes, did you ever see episode 215 of the Andy Griffith show? <laughs> and I go, no, Asperger's. I didn't see episode 215. <laughs> and he goes, that's my favorite episode. It originally aired March 13th, 1967. And I go, are you fucking with me right now? <laughs> And he goes, nah, it was March 13th, 1967. <laughs> and then he ate Twix, and he didn't talk to me for the rest of the flight. But I am begging you, if you ever see Bruce Bruce anywhere, walking around, sitting down, at a show, anywhere, just go, hey man, Andy Griffith is the shit. And he'll be like, I oh, know, I've been sad, i <laughs> That's it for me. You guys are the best. That was funny. All right. Good. It wasn't like hilarious, like, <laughs> but it was like. I like that funny. witch's laugh. That was good. <laughs> Thank that you. Laugh was very good. <laughs> oh, man. All right. Well, YouTube, tell us what you guys thought down in the comments below. Uh, don't forget to like and subscribe if you want to see more of us. All right. And uh, have a happy Halloween, guys. Be safe out there. Mm -hmm. You know, trick or treat. Please be safe. A lot of craziness going on, so yep. so you guys have a great night, all right? Bye. Bye-bye.